Uh, greetings and welcome to the very last episode of our Mario and Audi Madness 517 videos and today we're going to be announcing the official winners of the uh, competition here and I know a lot of you are probably you know tired of hearing about Mario and Audi Madness by now so I'll try and make this quick out of six teams for the competition only five ended up releasing mods over the two month span of the 2017 Madness season and after quite a long delay given that the uh, competition officially ended November 1st we finally have the full scores and results back from the judges and can provide a detailed list of winners in total, 14 modders representing 5 teams released about uh, 15 mods between the competition start in September and its conclusion at the end of October. Now, with each mod being scored on a 10 point scale by 3 separate judges, uh, these judges rated each mod based on functionality, creativity, and judge preference. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the results. And now it should come as no surprise that the winners of Modern Modern Madness are none other than Team Dreamy Dramora, composed of Uncle Dog, Greatness 7, The Drunken Mud Crab, and Memento Mortius. Coming in with a total score of 99 points over a possible 120, uh, the team easily won the first two rounds of the competition, the Great Houses round with uh, Caldera Mine expanded, and uh, the Dwemer round of Expedition to Muzzlethund. Achieving near perfect scores for the first half of the competition, uh, the team also managed to pour a win out of the Solstein and Six House round with uh, Legend of Chimere. Uh, if you know just barely, they won the round by only one point, and if one judge had scored their entry, you know, slightly differently, they would have pretty much easily lost. Uh, which they did in the final Ocean and Thief round of the competition, uh, coming in third with the unfinished Alpha Dorskaith, which uh, showed a lot of promise but was lacking in any real content. But all in all, uh, the team outperformed pretty much everyone else time and again, and uh, that can be seen here with the tower standing taller than the rest, and surrounded by three separate towers representing each challenge that they won. And while they did kind of burn out towards the end, uh, Team Dreamy Dramora has released some of the most memorable mods spent for any of our competitions, and they're this year's Morning Champions. May Lord Shilgorath will show them favour. And in second place we have Team Mythical Beast, composed of Danae, Lady Phoenix Far Rose, Akira Marshaku, and a Suonomics with a total score of 91 points out of a possible 120, are coming very close to taking first place. And out of all the teams, Team Mythical Beast had the most consistent quality throughout the competition, producing four very good mods that all received solid marks from our judges. Uh, their mods included Oilin Hilarion, a Redoran companion for the Great Houses round, the Imperial Duma Society for the Duma round, Ashes and Ice for the Solstein round, and uh, Pearls and Pirates for our final Ocean and Thief round. That uh, last round actually scored them their first decisive victory over Team Dreamy Dramora, winning the round and putting them solidly into second place overall. Now, uh, as you can see from their tower here, which has a small tower representing their victory in the final round of the competition next to it. And all in all, the mods of Team Mythical Beast are certainly worth checking out, and they helped make for a great competition this year. And uh, coming into third place is Team Horny Skulls, composed of Enclave Killer and Carice, who scored a total of 72 points out of a possible 120. Uh, to say the least, out of all the teams, Team Horny Skulls was beset with the most issues right from the get-go, with their first one, the Ash Pit, coming in over a week late, ending them late penalties and preventing them from releasing their second mod, the Wizard of Tabernora, a love story, on time, which also came in late. They managed to uh, find a sort of time work balance by the third round, though, releasing arguably their best mod, from Ash to Frost, but uh, were unable or too burnt out to come up with anything serious for the final challenge, releasing Kill That Crab, a joke mod that was universally panned by all of our judges. And uh, still though, for a two-man team, they accomplished quite a lot, and I'm sure Lord Shilgrath is pleased. And in fourth place, we have Team Wash Wizards, composed of Rubberman and Rubber Boy, who scored a total of 60 points out of a possible 120. And you know, Welsh Wizards almost certainly would have come in third place had they not skipped one of the rounds, but as it stands, they managed to release three mods, the Rise of House of Dress, a whole new faction mod for the Great Houses round, the Deep Arch Abyss for the Doom round, which eventually sparked the whole Doom Rebirth project that uh, Rubberman is working on now. And after skipping the third round, they released Wizard and Chin 3 Born, which was really an extension of the Doom Rebirth project, and perhaps didn't uh, best fit the Ocean and Thief theme, but it scored well enough, and while the team's wands were at times plagued with bugs, they were on the whole of high quality, and uh, the Duma Rebirth project looks to be an exciting new take on the Duma that will surely have a lasting impact on the community. And uh, lastly, our team Warren Fluff, composed of Blue Clock 3000 and Wandering Deadeye. Uh, this team ran into a few hardships early on, being knocked offline by Hurricane Irma during the uh, first round of the competition. Uh, they only managed to release one more, Treasures and Magic, coming in a couple weeks late after the end of the second challenge. And uh, the judges never quite got around to uh, rating this one, simply due to a backlog of other mods. But uh, the team still deserves credit for putting in a good effort to please our Lord Shilgrath in this, our second annual Moron Twining Landers competition. And with that, we've come to the end of this year's competition. It was a long one, to be sure, and perhaps a bit of a drag at times. 
Uh, we'll be overhauling the competition for next year so as to avoid burnout, but uh, credit goes to all the teams for making this an interesting and a certainly competitive competition with a ton of uh, new and cool mods to check out and play. And we'll be rolling out prizes here pretty shortly, so you know, if you're one of the winners, uh, just stay tuned for your rewards. And a special thanks to everyone for participating, along with Morrowind and the modding community. I'll see you all next year for another round of Madness!